Hello! In this tutorial I want to show you how you can make a simple menu for your snake game. Actually here I am in the main.cpp in the pong game and uh, I, as you can see I haven't changed anything so everything is uh, where we left it. Ok, so let's make a menu. I just think a very simple menu so I will not make a own class for it or but probably if you want to make more professional or more menu point than just two then you would make a class for it and the member function would manipulate the entire menu I just do it for uh, I just do it manually at the moment by the way this program design wasn't the best from the beginning so it will not screw up right okay so I thought I thought a menu which will have an own main loop so it will block the main loop uh, of the so the yeah the main loop of the game so there will nothing be changed and uh, and um, it will return an integer which will indicate which menu item has been clicked so for example if the first menu item was clicked then it returned 0 if the second menu item was clicked then it returned 1 so and we end in the main loop so in the actual game loop we can examine that which I what is the return type and do whatever do think we do for example if the one is the exit then in the main loop if the show menu function is returned with 1 then we just set the running equal to false all right so let's get started so it will return an int and call it show menu okay and uh, it will wait an fdl surface obviously to the screen which we will show so fdl surface and call it screen and it will wait a font which we have created in the main uh, function because you know we have to write the menu points so fdl Oh, TTF font, not FDL, TTF font, uh, font. All right. Uh, then in here we have to define a few variables. We need uh, to regulate the FPS in the show menu as well. So we use an uint32 variable called time. This is um, this could be stored even, but I don't want to confuse you uh, with. Uh, uh, using the same names in the show menu function and in the main function because you know that could be confusing if we, we do a lot so we will not know which one is the original and which one will overwrite so I just use different names and program is solved okay okay because this uh, function has the own main loop it will need a boolean value uh, which is equal to running so it will run while this uh, value is true so run actually no it is not needed because we will mm, let me think no we will return whenever uh, the user press something so this bool value is not needed if I think about well so now we need an int uh, x and y coordinate this will contain the actual coordinate of the mouse so where the mouse is uh, so we can decide whether it is uh, in uh, the one of the menu point and where do we click so that's it okay and uh, now we have to the define the number of menu items so const int call it num menu okay and make it equal to two I just want to two simple menu point if you want to implement more you can obviously do that because uh, if you know how to implement two then you can make it four five six uh, any number you want okay and uh, there we will need the actual labels of the uh, uh, menus. We did a similar thing in case of GTK plus uh, one of the tutorials when we did this menu thing. So we just use an array. So const char uh, what uh, call it array. Mm, call it labels. Label. Okay, and it has num menu uh, element. 
so uh, yes num menu so two and uh, make it equal to uh, one is continue this will tell the continue and one is exit which will exit the game okay that's it and uh, we need a, a, a surface for every menu item which will contain the text of the menu item so we make it SDR surface pointer mm, Mm, menus and it has num menu uh, element as well so this will contain the actual uh, uh, surface for the menus we will define it a little bit later the next thing is actually I want a uh, booth selected which will simple do is whenever one uh, thing is selected it will not uh, delete and make it over again okay probably it will not it not make sense right now but uh, in a moment I will be uh, in that place where we where that it makes sense okay so for now uh, I just I write it so bool uh, call it uh, selected and similarly it has num menu element and for now just set both to zero because none of them selected at the moment okay and we need a color because I want to uh, do that whenever the so whenever the element is selected it will be red and whenever it is not selected it will be white so I make this two color in an array so SDL color and color with two elements okay and it will be the first one will be 255 the white the and the second will be uh, red so 255 zero zero okay so we have two color uh, whenever one is selected we just use the color zero whenever one no, no, whenever one is not selected, we use the color 0, and whenever one is selected, we use the color 1, so we change it. Okay, so make this menu the thing. So we actually need two surface. Menus equal to TTF render text solid. Okay, and the first parameter is the font, the second is the title, which will be label the zero and the last parameter is the color which will be color zero because the when the program is start none of them selected we use the color zero so the white color okay and uh, oh sorry this is the menu zero now the menu is one the menu is one equals the ttf render text solid as well and it has the font and probably it would be better to copy it because the only change is this one and like that so we just uh, created two surfaces uh, one for the one with the text continue and one with the text uh, exit okay and now I want to set the position of this uh, menu you know this we, we will use this with the blitz surface which will define the actual position so I want it to approximately the center of the screen okay so SDR rect call it position and uh, just set every position so oh this will be an array as well because uh, we have two menus so we have two menus and every menu has a position actually it is called it is in num menu number of element it has num menu number of element so as I say it would be better to use a structure and put the labels in there put the menus in there put the selected in there the position in there and uh, you know make an array of that structure but uh, I think for now it is just easier so the zeroth position x is equal to the screen 
we get the clip wrecked from that and we get the uh, width from that this will be the width of the entire screen and we divide it by two and we add the width of the text so it will be perfectly so the width of the text uh, divided by two so it will be perfectly centered in the x axis so uh, so we get the menu zero and we get the clip wrecked from that and we get the width from that and divide it by two okay so this will seems very cryptic but basically that's to get the center first we get the center of the screen and then we add the center uh, and uh, yeah that's it actually we have to uh, use minus in here let me think yeah we have to use minus in here hmm do we i'm not really sure never mind we will see whenever we run the program right okay and the y and we have to set the y coordinate uh, y coordinate so this will not be perfect because we would have to add the height of all of the menus and divide it by two and minus the uh, position of this probably but I cheat a little bit and uh, just use it manually with two uh, menus so uh, screen clip rect height we divide this height by two and I just uh, subtract the height of the menu so menu zero clip rect okay this is it we don't have to divide it by uh, so uh, two okay the next thing is to make the next menu item so the X will be so almost the exactly the same except in this case I add the menu dot height to the cent to this mm, yeah so the first will be the center in the y axis i axis minus the height of the uh, menu item and the next will be the center of the menu plus the uh, menu item so basically that's it uh, if you want later you can make these values more precise I just uh, make an approximation oh I'm almost forget we have to change this one because we don't want to override the uh, earlier one okay and because I said it will have a main loop we use the FDL event structure we use an own FDL event structure call it hmm, call it event so simple and now make the actual main menu okay it will use a while loop and we don't pre uh, put, uh, press a uh, boolean value to it we just press a simple uh, endless loop and with return we uh, will uh, break from this endless loop okay the first thing as always to get the actual time so we can regulate the fps to 30 fps or something so time equal to fdl get ticks like that so we get the actual time the next thing is to make the actual event loop which will handle the event so fdl uh, poll event and the address of event okay and here we have to handle actually fr uh, four things we have to handle the fdl quit as well as the quit so the x will not work in this menu it will only work in while the game is running and we have to handle the mouse movement event so the mouse motion event as i showed you in one of the previous tutorial we have to handle the click event so the mouse button down event and we have to handle the key press event so if i press escape i will uh, go back to the game uh, that's all we need to handle in here so switch event dot type so what is the event and uh, case fdl quit 